movieweb.com. What, what were some of the challenges of shooting this in Portland? No challenge as far as I was concerned. I mean, I loved working in Portland. Uh, I think that that uh, it Portland is not a generic city, and and it's very easy to make Portland a character within this film because it's so unique and so specific that the Willamette. See, I learned to say Willamette. Oh yeah, I know some people have a problem. <laughs> and uh, but the architecture of the city and and. Um, it, it was it was it was great to try to find my way into that city because I loved it so much. Well, one of the things I found most interesting about this film, and this may be weird on my part, is that she picks up the coffee cup and leaves with it, and that's a small detail. Maybe a lot of people wouldn't pick up, but that's an important detail to at least me in film. Now, do you are you conscious of that, or do you have like a somebody who's doing that on set to keep those kinds of? Oh, there's somebody who does it on somebody who does. It. I'm not conscious of that. I'm I'm, I'm so focused on performance that I don't see stuff. I, I don't see, I mean, I should, I have like a tunnel vision. It comes from being dyslexic. And I, but I have a tunnel and I'm so focused on the emotion and the, and the intensity or, or lack thereof that's necessary for that particular moment that I, there's a lot of stuff. I, if I didn't have somebody looking out for that stuff, I'd be dead in the water. Now, did you set out to make this as emotionally crippling to audience members as it is? Emotionally crippling? Like just when I saw the film, people were so crying in back of me. I mean, it was waterworks in there. I'm wondering, do you set out to? No. No, I, I, I wanted a movie that that said there are no that that said love is a complicated thing, and that finally, in the end, love doesn't work out. You get divorced, or someone dies, and you're and you're alone, and yet we still do it. We it's it's that the power of love is that in spite of somebody saying to you, when you fall in love, this isn't going to work, buddy. You still do it. You can't not do it. It's irresistible. We can't live without it. But why do you think Morgan Freeman's such a great dispenser of wisdom? I mean, why did you go with him in that role? But a because he's one of the two, three, three best actors I know of, you know. Two, because I've always wanted to work with him. Three, because Dustin Hoffman said, there's acting and there's character, and you can't act character. You can't act wit. You can't act sexiness. You can't act intelligence. And you can't act moral, a kind of moral center. And he can do that. He, it's not, no matter how good you are as an actor, you can't act it if you don't have it. And Morgan has that anchor that, that's, that keeps this picture on track. Feast of Love.